Hey, what is up guys? It's some Bucky here. How are you guys doing? As always, hope you guys are doing good. Welcome to part two of my walkthrough for The Order 1886. We're going to continue exactly where we left off from part one. So if you guys did not uh, watch part one, be sure to go check it out. I'll have an annotation on the screen as well as a link in the description. So be sure you guys check that out before you watch this so you guys understand exactly what's going on. Um, also, as you guys probably seen for the very first time, I now have an intro on my channel. Uh, huge shout out to Push to Insanity for making this one. Uh, I'll have a link to his channel in the description down below if you guys want to check out uh, some of his other work. So I'm just so happy that I finally have an intro for my channel, apart from the MMM organization intro, which looks absolutely fantastic. So together, I think this definitely adds another perspective to my channel. Definitely shows that it's still growing. So uh, like I said, we're going to continue exactly where we left off from part one. So hope you guys enjoy this and I'll catch you guys at the end of the episode. Air command to all knights in the vicinity of Mayfair. The Metropolitan Police has finished cordoning off the affected areas. Sentinels are continuing their overhead sweep. We will alert you to any sightings of the escaped patients. Acknowledge. Gallahan, are you making any headway? I'm in the generator room. Lafayette and I have decided to split our search. Oui, mademoiselle, but I have not met any resistance yet. I'd beat you here. Remember, youth always prevails. Monsieur, hold on. 
I'm almost there. Monsieur! What happened? I slew most of them. The last one got away. Grain, I need your outcome. I'll head up to street level and keep after him. You two go that way and head him off. Understood. Yes. Percival, we've neutralized the threat on our side. Good. I managed to capture one of the half breeds. Rendezvous back at Regent. Acknowledge. Let's go. Westminster to the catacombs. We'll deal with him later. Ah, Sir Percival. I thought the Order of Her Majesty's Royal Knights might be mixed up in this affray. We had reason to suspect a rebel incursion, Commissioner. An elementary conjecture. In that event, perhaps this might be of interest. Whitechapel. Uh, purely circumstantial, of course. I call it evidence. Well, circumstantial evidence can be a tricky animal, my dear Sir Percival. You may think it is pointing at one thing, but shift your point of view slightly and you may find it pointing in an equally uncompromising manner at something entirely different. Please, indulge me with your musings, Commissioner. Well, first the rebellion, and then this Jack and the Ripper murders, mm -hmm. and then this. Strange, don't you think, that Whitechapel has become the epicenter of our recent conundrums? We must examine every clue now, you see? We meet in council two days hence. If you would do us the honor of presenting your findings. You can expect me at Westminster. Over here, sir. Do excuse me. Where have you been? Bloody London traffic. Mon général, what of the other half-breeds that escaped through Hyde Park? We must pursue them. No. Mais notre devoir est de les poursuivre, monsieur. Marquis. Nous ne chassons pas des Anglais sur le nouveau continent. Votre temérité sera requis à un moment important. Oui, mon général. I will be governed by your advice. I'm sure you will appreciate that for the time being, this must remain a police matter. Of course. Something's amiss. The underworld in Whitechapel is known to give safe harbor to the rebellion. That's precisely what troubles me. Why would so many half-breeds be found in Bedlam? Some things we need to find out for ourselves. You heard, Commissioner Doyle. It's a police investigation now. Knights do not relinquish their authority to bureaucrats. Percival is right. This matter should be brought before the Council. Centuries have passed. But our order has remained steadfast in its sacred mission to preserve the balance between man and half-breed. Such was the quest of our founder, King Arthur. May his name be forever resplendent. Is it true? Did the Lord Chancellor fight by Arthur's side? That is the legend. Today, that balance is threatened with grave upset by a new contagion, the rebellion. 
as long as its campaign of anarchy and terror is allowed to continue. The plague of lichen infestation that has infected our city will only grow more intolerable. Well, the Lord Chancellor will thus agree to the urgency of a mission into Whitechapel. Whitechapel is a matter for the civil authorities. When the noble Arthur sought to contest for truage with the Roman Emperor Lucius, he did not trouble himself with issues of jurisdiction. Do not presume to quote history to me, Sir Percival. <laughs> I've seen more of history than you shall ever know. I remind the knights here assembled that the threat to this order comes not only from without, but within. We must stand vigilant together. Lest our ranks be poisoned by those who seek the destruction of all we hold sacred. No one is immune from the rebels' influence. Surely the Lord Chancellor does not mean to question Sir Percival's loyalty. This order has long appreciated Sir Percival's counsel. But the current disruption calls for caution and concerted effort, not rash action. Sir Percival has cause, Lord Chancellor. The situation in Whitechapel may need to be addressed. Does Lord Darwin speak with the blessing of the peers? Lord Hastings, Lord Dunglass. He does. Lord Chancellor, perhaps the question should be put to the Council. Very well. What says the Order of Her Majesty's Royal Knights in the matter of Whitechapel? Aye or nay? Nay. nay. The nays have it. This Council is dismissed. Our order grows too prudent, Grayson. We wither away from this inaction. Leave it, Sebastian. Caution be damned. Sir Percival is most agitated. You should learn it is best not to cross him when his mind is set on something. What do you make of this? Percival seems intent on pursuing his investigation. The knight has made a habit of contravening his orders lately. Mm. I fear many grow weary of Brother Percival's insubordination. If anyone has the liberty to challenge the council's Galahad will deal with this in due time. I have a more pressing matter to attend. As you wish. How many of us will make the journey to America? Oh, Lord Barrett, Lord Darwin, and myself. I've heard many great things about the Agamemnon, Lord Hastings. Oh, she is the finest the United India Company has ever built. I can promise you a pleasant and speedy journey across the Atlantic. Can we expect your presence at the launch? Sir Lucan. Would be my honor to see you off on your maiden voyage, my lords. Sir Lucan, if I may. Um, if you'd permit me, my lords. Of course, Sir Percival. Alistair, you know as well as I do that Whitechapel is the key to these disturbances, to everything. My opinion is immaterial. The Council has spoken. Few dared countermand your father's express wishes. Need I remind you that we all serve at the Lord Chancellor's pleasure? You are the Knight's commander! Make him see reason. You think an incursion into a rebel stronghold is reasonable? I consider it an acceptable risk. One for which you'd be willing to accept full responsibility should unforeseen circumstances arise. Let what befalls be upon my head, no one else's. Whitechapel remains off limits. That is officially. You have my thanks, Sir Lucan. Of your thanks, I have no need. Bring me results. As the Knight Commander wishes.
Well, we're going in. Most excellent. When do we move? You're not talking about Whitechapel. But my Your fa brother sought fit to permit us a reconnaissance. Secure the necessary materials. Isabeau, a word. Tell me, monsieur, about the Lord Chancellor. What is a Marquis? Sir Lucan and Lady Egrain were adopted by him, yes? Yes, they were. Why would he bring them into such struggle? Perhaps he wanted to regain a semblance of the humanity he lost. When time came to join the Order, the choice was theirs to make. Regardless, I would not wish this life on my children. Marquis, we need to hurry. Oui, mon général, avec plaisir. Monsieur. Friend Mallory has always been something of a rogue operative. I've never known a better man. Still, I shall rely on you to be a, call it a sobering influence. Sebastian and I have long been partners. I trust him with my life. A little restraint would not be ill-advised. Do look after my sister, won't you? No man in the realm can keep Isabeau from danger when she's of a mind. Oh, you say true. What's a brother to do, eh? Good luck and Godspeed. How do you mean? Always at your service, Sir Galahad. This way, please. Ah, oh, Tesla. Just the man. What new developments do you have to show me? Quite a few intriguing things, if I may say so. Any further news of the uh, trouble in Grosvenor Square? Police are investigating. And investigating. Lycans, on the United India Company's front doorstep, what do you make of it? Mayfair isn't what it used to be. Uh, permit me to oversee a few of my new experiments. Uh, in the meanwhile, take a look around, uh, play with whatever strikes your fancy, but do be careful. Nicola, how fares your friend Edison these days? Thomas and I are not on speaking terms. The man is an idiot! Quite an antique. Hard to believe we ever use these communicators. Start with the eighteen and five space now. Good twenty now. gibberish to me. Nicola, you sly dog. Uh, Sir Galahad! Please, this way. Here is something you may find interesting. This device allows you to convert between Edison's inefficient direct current and my superior alternating current. Quite handy for overloading and incapacitating certain electrical systems.
It's comprised of an inverter, transformer, and rectifier. I outfitted with some brass clips to enhance the design. Oh, and a fine leather carrying case. Uh, inside each tube is a small quantity of mercury. When the mercury is properly aligned, the device becomes operational. Please, try it. You never cease to amaze, Nicola. I'd appreciate your expert opinion on my latest whimsy. Here. S684 Marksman Carbine. Impressive. You've always had a good eye for craftsmanship. I've outfitted this one with a telescopic sight. It's ideal for long-range shooting. I would be honored if uh, you would test its efficacy. With pleasure. Nicely balanced. Recoil is sharp, but manageable. Some muffling might be in order as well. I'll attend to it immediately. So, are there any other of my children that you would like to meet? The offer's tempting, but I must return to the others. Of course. Oh, the monocular that General Lafayette requested is over there on the table. I'll see that he gets it. We scour the district in pairs. Isabeau, you and Lafayette take the high street from the south end. Galahad and I will move in from the north. Why not give the Frenchman to Galahad? Mademoiselle doubts my intentions. I promise to remain at all times the picture of chivalry. I'd prefer to have someone more experienced looking out for me. I thought you needed no looking after. Very well. You team with Galahad. Mademoiselle will perhaps one day allow me to demonstrate my skill. One day. Remember, we are entering rebel territory. The insurgents will take umbrage at our incursion into Whitechapel. Given our little discovery in Mayfair, the London Hospital should be our target. Strange to think Lycans would find sanctuary here, is it not, monsieur? You really believe the rebels are collaborating with the half-breeds? The Lord Chancellor is convinced of it. I have my doubts. Do you trust anyone, Mon General? Never accept. Always question. It's a motto that's seen me through the centuries. Stay vigilant, all of you. We can expect hot work here. Ah, quelle joie! A nest of cut purses, collaborators, and whoremongers. I knew it very differently once. A lone chapel stood just there, offering sanctuary to travelers. That was before even my time. The city walls had yet to come up. Now you can smell white chapel before you see it. We rendezvous at the hospital. Stay on your guard. Understood. This way, monsieur. The ashes are still warm. Hello there, boys. Never here.
Doesn't look good. He ain't getting up. Stay down, you stupid git. Strange place. tell you things have never been better. Yeah. They tell you England is making progress. What's all this progress brought you? Hideous slums, some no more than crannies of obscure misery. Long hours in factories, only to be paid a pittance and told by your masters to be grateful for a few bob a week. Children work to the bone in a black hell of coal mines while the captains of industry feast from silver bowls. Yeah. Is this the England we want? Let's move. No. What must we do? Fight! That's right. Brothers and sisters, fight. Join our I'm cause. Sorry. Who was the job? I don't know. Down with I'm the sorry. queen. No. You don't Down know. with the She's dead because of you! <laughs> 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 He killed another one last night. I didn't know. Leave her be, monsieur. I didn't, didn't know. Stop. Don't worry. You're safe now. We should head through this door. No weapons allowed in the establishment. You want to stay, you leave it here. Bien sûr, monsieur. As a matter of fact, we were just looking for the coat closet. Give it here. And a fun, governor. At ease, monsieur. A quick reconnaissance of the premises seems imperative. I'm in no hurry. 
Take all the time you need, love. Well, um, I, well, I, I... Join me upstairs, now. Another time. I can show you things you've never seen before. I don't doubt it. Ladies, please, I forget this happy to share his favor. Is it that obvious? Tell me the truth. It was the nose, wasn't it? Marky, this is no time for sport. We have to find a way out of here quickly. I have just a thing, monsieur. If one of you ladies would reach into my pocket. Give it here, love. Is it sufficient, monsieur? <laughs> More than sufficient, I'd say. Upstairs, then, if you please. Are you about ready, love? You won't forget this, I tell you. This way, love. Get in here. Oi! Here! What are you up to? You're in the wrong room! Where's the little frog gone? He's in there! With his friend! Oi! Get out of there! Oh! Hello? Have intruders. Get your weapons. Let's go. Lafayette. Shh. Looks like we've stirred the nest. Keep a lookout, Marquis. I need to find a way through here.
Right, two shorts for Bobby's, one long for Knights. Damn Knights. <laughs> I'm sure it's not the other way around, you know. Two shorts for Knights and one long for Bobby's. For fuck's fuck. sake! Clear! Perhaps the rooftops are not our best path, monsieur. You may be right. We need to find another way to the hospital. I found a way out. Facile, hein? I sense that we are not welcome here. Keep your eyes open. We don't want to create any further commotion. Look, Monsieur. God did not save this queen. Lafayette, keep your head. Hang on, mister. I will cover you. Lafayette, keep your head down. We need to take out the sniper. Absolutely, monsieur. Thank you. 
Up ahead. Take the street. Let's head up. Move in. I saw in the tunnel. I'm pinned down. Stay down, Monsieur. I will do the right cover. Oh, it's right. Good night. Damn it. What is? Rebels oh, down. Shit. We have to keep moving. I imagine more rebels are on their way. Hey, help me the cops. They blocked the way. Them. Through the building. down.
Rebel neutralized. We need to keep moving and get off the streets. Alright guys, so that pretty much does it for part 2 of my walkthrough for the Order 1886. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did enjoy, please be sure to uh, hit that subscribe button if you guys are new and to leave a thumbs up on the video letting me know that you guys liked it. Also in the comment section down below, let me know if there's anything you guys want me to focus on for the next, uh, next part. So uh, I'll go ahead and do that in the next video. But again, hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Until then guys, take it easy. Peace.